What made you want to get involved in this year's competition? Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I've been involved in other competitions before. Uh, I knew about this one because a friend of mine actually uh, won one of the awards a couple of years ago. Um, seemed like a great thing to put myself up for. Uh, I, I'm a massive fan of short films, like uh, with a limit, you know, like three minutes or whatnot. Uh, I, I deem it as a challenge. Uh, and I had uh, yeah, a good idea, which hopefully has come nicely to fruition. <laughs> For me, I've been doing it since 2006 now, uh, and in every corner you might face a hurdle, uh, uh, whether it be location, getting the right actors involved, actors availability, because often you make short films with no little to no budget, which is what I do. Um, so it's, it's pulling in a lot of favours all the time, and uh, yeah, buying a lot of uh, people lunch <laughs> to help you out. Uh, but hopefully, uh, it's just... One thing I do find on, on a short film is that everybody's there for a reason, everybody's there for the right reasons and they all want to be involved. So the atmosphere when you're filming is really, really super positive. And that's something I really enjoy because everybody wants to be um, creative together. Um, and when it actually looks all right at the end, you know, that's fantastic. <laughs> Talking about being creative, um, can you tell us what your short is about? What the what kind of the synopsis? Yeah, the quick synopsis is called Photo Finish. It stars Sarah Jane Potts, who is my sister, uh, and my brother-in-law, Joseph Milson, who's a very talented actor. Um, and basically, it's all set, it's a locked off camera shot, and it's all set within one of these photo booths that we've all experienced now so often uh, a wedding uh, or any kind of party. Um, and basically, these two go, these two characters go in there to kind of get away from everybody else. And, uh, and there's a very important question that's asked within um, within the shot, uh, but yeah, that's basically it. It's 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 cute. It's fun. Hopefully, people think it's funny, which I wanted it to be. It's snappy, and um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I hope everybody else does. <laughs> Have you been in a photo booth like that? Have you had experiences like that at crowded places, weddings, and parties? I have been in many a photo booth like that. Uh, I don't have all the pictures, so somebody does on their fridge, probably. Um, but yeah, I didn't, uh, I've never experienced a proposal in a photo booth, uh, so that's new. Um, and also with, with, with my film, I wanted to have the proposal happen and, and the way I do it is, is with the flashes of the pictures, just to, to have that perfect moment captured because a lot of people don't have it. And there's something about photographs which is a little bit different from film, which I wanted to put photographs within a film, if that makes any sense. Because um, it, it does capture the four beautiful moments of her realising that she's been asked to be his wife. And uh, I, I've got off the question, I can't even remember it. Hi. <laughs> I love being behind the camera. Um, I mean, I guess I've, I've acted since I was seven years old now, and I'm now 35, so I've done it a fair few years. Um, and it is my job, and I'm still passionate about it. I still love it dearly, um, and love the challenges that that throws up. But being behind the camera, in the way that I do it, and having creative control, it's something that, like, well, that's it, just it. I can have creative control over it, you know. I spend a lot of my life doing what I'm told. Um, and saying what I'm, uh, I'm supposed to say, and this is some uh, way that I can put across totally my vision, uh, because I edit every film that I make, um, so it literally is my vision from start to finish, and I, I enjoy putting that out there and people seeing, I guess, that side of my head. <laughs> but no, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to making films, I am. Um, but I'm glad there's no rehab. <laughs> How important do you think competitions like this are in helping the next generation of filmmakers to share their vision? Yeah, ma massively important competitions like this. Um, they help people get to the next level, they help uh, raise awareness, they, they support um, the arts, uh, not necessarily the people that don't have the money, but you know, hopefully have a computer and a camera can edit this stuff together. And there's amazingly talented people out there and sometimes they never get noticed because they can't get in the right rooms, they can't get in the door to see people. And this, this, is, this type of conversa uh, competition helps people do that. Um, so it's, it's hugely important and I don't feel there's enough in this country. Um, so hopefully, you know, there will be more. Um, but, uh, you know, the Read One is fantastic. It's got an amazing reputation. I'm so, so proud to be uh, a part of it. So, ta very much. Oh, what I'm making next. Okay, so I'm making a web show. I've already started. I'm four episodes in called Wireless. Um, it's me directing myself for the very first time in front of the camera. There's uh, lots of fantastic uh, British talent in it. Um, and it's a sci-fi sci show. I don't want to say too much about it, but it's definitely, definitely unique. And if you want to go on www.wireless.london, 
that's the website. Check it out. Shows your support. Follow us on Twitter. Um, and yeah, hopefully you like it. The response has been amazing. And we've just been invited to London Comic Con um, to further promote the series because of the response online. So it's going well at the moment. And it's, it's, it's mine and Alex Moss who wrote Photo Finish. It's mine and his baby. We created it uh, a few years ago. And to put it on a platform like YouTube, um, which is helping us do that, um, it gets out there for little to no budget again. And yeah, it just it shows what you can do without having to have the big studios behind you, you know.